blister starting like the fourth inning. And then the sixth inning, I just felt like it was really full, so I pressed on it and it got all the blood out pretty much. So <laughs> just a little stinging sensation, but I've dealt with them a lot in my career, so it doesn't really you know bother me too much anymore. So I decided to make a few pitches and uh, did it. Just found a little soft spot of grass, so it's all good. And then when you see the bullpen come in and have such an impressive outing, what is it like for you to watch them do their job as well? It's good. I think it was you know kind of a, a needed one for everybody. Just uh, you know we have a good bullpen and we've had some some rough luck this year. And to come in and do the job right there, take the lead in the eighth, and you know keep it. It's it's, uh, it's a big thing for a lot of uh, guys' uh, egos down there. That's for sure. Where did you want that Aguiar pitch? Just I mean maybe a little bit higher, but I didn't throw him. Maybe I threw him one fastball today, and that might have been the one. Uh -huh. So it's kind of hard. To, you know, go against what would have been working well for me. Um, like I said, the first two two sliders were, were pretty good, and I just wanted to, you know, put a ball up there, change eye level, and go back to the slider. But, you know, he hit it, so it's it's kind of is what it is. I went with what my strength was, and he got on top of it. So, you know, he fouls it off, whatever it is. I was gonna probably go back to the off speed after that. So, just got beat on a on a pitch, but at the same time, it was my best pitch on the day. So I can't really. Uh, you know, be too disappointed. And if I'm smart, I should have just kept going off speed and not even gave him a chance. How much of the fastball being up was part of the game plan?